In the current situation that is happening around the world with COVID-19 pandemic, it's taking the world by storm. And it's leaving in its track a lot of anxiety, fear, and a lot of uncertainty. Nobody knows what tomorrow holds. And today I want to draw in from the Book of Wisdom the one certainty that we have, which is the Holy Bible. For scripture says that though heaven and earth may pass away, the word of God will remain. So therefore, the word of God is the only certainty that we have. And from there, I want to draw out some encouragement to keep you going in this time. And I'm going to read to you from the book of Philippians in the New Testament, chapter 4, verse 6, written by the Apostle Paul. And I'm reading from the King James Version. If you can just follow me quickly. It says, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known unto god now paul starts it very simple he says don't worry don't be anxious now it's easy for him to say because he's not going to the situation but paul doesn't just stop there he says don't worry instead pray instead call out to god instead cry out to god and the reason you cry out to God is so you can make known to God your request. You make known to God your need. You tell him what it is that you need. You tell him what it is that makes you anxious. You, re you release unto him the uncertainty that you have. And there's a part in the verse that says, with thanksgiving. So when you pray and you make supplication to God, you do so with thanksgiving. And it's hard for you to make maybe to consider that you're thankful in this situation that you are. But this actually in reference to Matthew chapter 6. It is a gospel of Matthew where Jesus was actually teaching the people that God is more than just this transcendent being as the world usually knows. He's more than just the God of Abraham, of Isaac, and Jacob. He's actually our Father. He is our Heavenly Father. And that takes a whole different approach. He, he was teaching the people that the birds in the skies, they neither reap nor they sow, but they are always fed every single day. And the lilies of the field, not even King Solomon, which is the richest man, one of the richest men that ever lived, not even him could be as beautiful as one of them because God clothed them. And Jesus goes on to say, how much more will your father in heaven care for you? Because if we know that we have a father in heaven, then we know that when we cry out, when we pray, he will hear us. And if he hears us, he will answer us because he loves us. And that's why we can come to him with thanksgiving instead of worry, because we know we have a father and we know our father cares for us. And because he cares for us, he will provide for our need. So I want to encourage you not to worry. Every time fear starts to get a grip of your mind, cry out to God, release that fear unto him and be thankful that he hears you. And because he hears you, he will answer to your needs. Go, therefore, with peace in Jesus' name.